This YCN segment is brought to you by Harris Family Furniture in Plymouth, Laconia, and Chichester. Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Rob Taylor. One final segment. We get into some regional sports first. We'll talk Dartmouth Big Green football going on the road, beating Sacred Heart. Another non-conference win. Another win, 5-0 and on the season. Two weeks ago, Yale, we talked about them last week. You were at that game. That biggest comeback in Dartmouth football history. Yeah, what a great game. Uh, it was my first actual uh, appearance at a Dartmouth game. And what a great product. If anybody out there is looking for some fun things to do on the weekend, put that on your list. Uh, the, the, the stadium is obviously uh, immaculate now with that new right. uh, improvements that they've made. Uh, and just a good product on the field. You can, you can tell it's, uh, it's uh, something special when you're up there. Of course, this week's game, yep. uh, battle of two 5 and O's, I believe. Yes, two, correct. Two, uh, two league leaders in the Ivy League. Um, what's interesting about Columbia, Columbia has sort of been a perennial basement dweller in the Ivy League. Never really been good in about 40 or 50 years. <laughs> right. And they picked up the uh, former Penn coach who had great career at Penn and has come in and really revamped the program. I think he came in and said, give me what I need. And Columbia said, absolutely, we'll do that. And so it's really starting to come together for him down there. So this is a real unique situation with Dartmouth going up against Columbia for the for the Ivy League lead here. Right, so yeah, it is pretty exciting. They're both, like you said, 5-0, and oh, and Dartmouth has had, under, under Coach Buddy Tevens in his recent stint with this Dartmouth program, he's really, I mean, they shared the Ivy League title a few years ago with Harvard. Uh, they've beaten Harvard. You know, recently it's kind of been a little bit more back and forth than it had been in the past. But this game on uh, Saturday, and if you do want to check that out, it's at 12:30 over at Memorial Field in Hanover, and that's going to be Dartmouth and Columbia both undefeated. And the YCN game of the week will be this Friday night down in Langdon, New Hampshire, Fall Mountain hosting the Stevens Cardinals. It's time for the Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. Salt Hill Pub, honest food, perfect pints, live music, now here to serve you in five locations. All right, want to congratulate Jeremy for the Granite Mike's Award that was just awarded to him this past week and to the YCN crew. Uh, congratulations on a great job done. Thank you. Yeah, everyone here did a great job. The semifinal boys basketball game, Lebanon versus Hollis Brookline. So that was exciting. So yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Now we get to our picks, and here we go. Thursday night football, Chiefs Raiders. We talked about that one. A big battle in the AFC West. Who you got? Uh, I'm going to go Chiefs. I think uh, I'm still buying on the Chiefs. Yeah. Even though they got the 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 first loss of the year just last weekend, uh, still seem like a great team, a uh, great coach. I still have confidence they're going to have a pretty dang good year, and I yeah. think they'll, they'll win. I agree with you. I still am not quite sold on the Raiders, and the Chiefs bounce back. I think they get the win as well. Saints-Packers, talk about a team, completely different season now without their quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is out. Saints go on the road. They're actually favored in that one. Who you got? I'm going Saints on that one as yeah. well. Uh, another kind of deal, just like the Celtics losing their best player. This is going to be a, a real tough week for the Packers, a real deflating week, right. and I'm taking uh, – I'm taking Drew Brees. Yeah, and I agree with you. Maybe the Packers can rebound later in the season, but that first week when you got a new quarterback, I don't buy it. I'm taking the Saints as well. AFC East battle. We thought they'd be in the basement. They're actually not doing too bad. Jets at Dolphins. Yeah, I'm picking Jets on this one. After the performance they put up against the Pats, obviously a Super Bowl winning team. Looking pretty sharp. I think they got uh, enough to get by the Dolphins. And the Dolphins, their own win, uh, very impressive. Beating the Falcons in Atlanta. I think they keep that going. They come home and they get the win there. Over to the Sunday Night Football, the big matchup. Falcons at Patriots Super Bowl rematch, obviously. Yeah, this is an easy one for me. <laughs> Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, Gronk. Yep. Go Pats. I, I think this maybe this is the one where we see it. I don't think they're going to beat them down. It's not going to be a blowout, but I think they have a nice convincing win. At home, I take the Patriots as well. The final game, Monday Night Football, another big divisional matchup, Redskins and Eagles. Yeah, I'm going Skins. If you check the lines on them, they're obviously the favorite, and they've done really well against the spread all year, and they're a team that sort of traditionally has done well against the spread. So I just think they've got it this week against the, the Eagles. Yeah, and this is going to be a big matchup because Giants obviously out of the division. The Cowboys still in flux. The whole Ezekiel Elliott and his easy plan, are they going to come back? This is going to be a big matchup. I'm going to take the Eagles at home. I think they can 
keep their season going, and maybe they can win the NFC East. So we'll see what happens. There are our picks and an update on the records. The guest is 19 and 11 this season. I'm 18 and 12, so we'll see if I can uh, get that game back and, and tie it up. Rob, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks Rob for Taylor, yep. the executive director of the Lebanon Area Chamber. Thanks for watching YCN Sports Talk.